Now smile like Nova Case Junior! friends. I'm teacher Michelle. Now who remembers what we've been learning all month long? Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, I can believe in Jesus. And how do we know that? Because Jesus loves us. Now let's all stand and sing and dance together. Beautiful friends, do you know that Jesus loves your messy hair and your funny dancing? Jesus loves everything about you because Jesus wants to be your forever friend. Now it's time for a visit from Ollie. His story today is going to show us that we can go from being angry to happy because we believe in Jesus. Now let's call him Ollie. Ollie. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy. And my neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. 
Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spot with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great! All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend, Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, became happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true!
When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm going to show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! That was great, Ollie. And remember, Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Now, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Our memory verse reminds us that God gave us the Bible to tell us about Jesus. Let's say it together. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Let's do it again. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Great job! I can believe in Jesus. When I'm scared, he makes me brave. Jesus is my friend, my friend forever. Bye! Can do anything. Jesus is amazing. He's incredible. There's no one like him. Jesus does miracles, the impossible. There's no one like him. He's big and strong. So I clap my hands. I sing and dance. He's dumb.
Do you know who it is? Yes, that's right, it's you. Thanks for joining us today. Happy Father's Day and have a great day. See you next week.